What is up my fellow nerds and welcome to another Old School Tuesday. Today we're going to be playing some Capcom Arcade Cabinet. Now if you don't know what that is, it's pretty self-explanatory, it's old Capcom games. Today we're going to be playing some uh, Old School Shooting. Um, hope you enjoy it. Now we're going to be doing some 1942. Really old ass shit. But one of the first games I personally ever played from Capcom that I can remember. Now obviously everyone remembers Mega Man and stuff like that. But sort of shooting games was the first sort of thing that I got into. Um, and it really kind of inspired me to get into other games. Anything with action really. So this is kind of one close to my heart. And I thought well I want to do it because I'm sure there's a hundred videos out there. But... I wanted to do it for myself more than anything else. All right, so let's enjoy it. I'll do my best if I don't get to the end of the game because I'm a little bit rusty, but I'll do as much as I can to make it entertaining. So now I have put it on a uh, difficulty that is still normal, but I've got some extra lives because <laughs> this game is pretty tough. Graphics. Oh no, I've already wasted all my things. Wrong buttons. Now, as you can think, you're thinking, holy crap, what's with the... <laughs> uh, what's with the, cra what's with the crazy sound? Well, that's kind of what you had back in the day, man. It's kind of like, looks like he's slapping meat on a, on a stick, kind of thing. You want to get these power-ups, man? Get that power-up. Now you only had one power-up in this game, and then when you powered up again, it basically did like a kill screen that killed everything that was in the vicinity. So you kind of wanted to save that, just in case you had any really bullshit enemies. Oh man. Okay. Right, okay. Now you've only got a roll, and you've got a shoot. That's it. No missiles. No nothing. No extra power-ups. This is it. This is all you have, man. Your wits. And four bullets. And also, you at the end you'll see in a minute. I'll show you what you get there. It's kind of like the same the old Namco games where you're counted towards how many enemies you kill. You're like this is the kill screen right here. So you want to? Oh no, no, don't do anything. Maybe it's one more after this, and then you get the kill screen. These little bitches, man. That's why you need the, the roll, man. That's why you need the roll. See ya, bro. Thanks for coming. Oh, there we go. See you again. Zen on life. It's just there to get you out of shit, basically. But I'm hoping you're having a great day, guys, man. This is, uh, it's hot over here in the UK, man. And I'm sweating like a little bitch. So there basically told you how many enemies you get, so you've got a challenge to try and kill all the enemies at this in on the one screen, and it uh, can be quite tough, especially if you don't know where they go. See, I missed one already. I've already failed. And you've got the classic one-up screen, so you get the first 20,000 gives you one, and then every 80,000 after that. So you've always got some extra lives to aim for. Come on. Oh, that was close. So well, that was close. Plus you can't go all the way, you see you can't go all the way far back of the screen. This is as far as you can okay, power up time. Boy oh, Why game? Why'd you do this to me? So you can't move across the whole screen, you've only got like this is your movement screen, this up to there, that's it. They can move wherever they want, but you can only go as far as that. Oh there we go. Didn't use my roll in time. Pure skill. Time for you to die. Yeah, go away. No one likes you. Okay, these are annoying. These plans are annoying because they're always coming with a shitload of other enemies around. Oh, that was a panic roll right there. Probably didn't even need to roll there, but. Oh, that was when I needed to roll, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
see now that I've de-evolved into only two on the power up. It's kind of annoying. Ooh. The reflexes, man. The reflexes. Right, I want to get this little bit here. There we go. I need, to get, I need to have my roll ready, man. I have a roll there. That was a good roll. See ya. There we go. Now, yeah. It, ooh, that was the time to roll right there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now let me know in the comments below what your favourite Capcom game is. From the big ones, obviously. The big ones, everything. The Evil Street Fire, the usual. But I mean, I do have my heart in the old arcade games, man. Shooting games. Old school. Kind of fighting games as well. The problem is everyone, everyone always thinks of you know, the usual Resident Evil, Street Fighter, uh, but you know, Capcom did more than that. Arcades is where they were good at. Them, Konami, and Namco basically. They were all in the spot. How long did that last? Um, a total of six minutes. Well done. One more go. We can do this. Come on, baby. Don't want to do. Oh, what the? Oh yeah, of course. I forgot. Different power-ups. Totally forgot. Probably just get killed first time. <laughs> All right. See, going back and playing these after you haven't played them in years, just. Just forget things, man. There's so many games you just forget all about. Come on now. We got this, man. Red out, red, red, red. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes there's my planes. Oh shit, I'm really cute, got one killed. Ooh. Well, that was short lived. Very short lived. Come on. I can do this. I've got one roll left. I wasted it. I wasted the roll. Alright, <laughs> uh, right. let's get this done properly. Yay! People want to remember Gallagher's one of the most popular games like this. Raiden as well. Those are kind of the ones that, because of really Namco's way of engineering their games into other games on the PlayStation 1 specifically, especially like people that don't remember Gallagher. Like, well, you can play Gallagher on the, you know, the opening screen for free. There we go. That's slightly better than last time. Let's aim for another power up. I can do this. So I'm doing better now. I'm remembering my, my piloting skills. Again, the flashbacks. But, man, um, you can get it. Right. What are those planes doing? They're like, I'm just here for show, doing absolutely nothing to the game. Apart from probably making it crash, I suppose. 
Yeah, yeah, I see. More bullshit airplane trying to get killed. Yeah. Oh no. No. It's power. See another one. I don't think so, pal. Now they made three of these, and probably more if I remember rightly, but I've got three on here, 1942, 1943 and 1943 Kai. Um, I don't think I remember playing Kai, so I'll probably do that on another, another playthrough then. and get some more power-ups now. Don't they get harder. Nope. I don't think so. There's no escape for you. Oh. So the, these little bitches are like everywhere now. Superpower. Yes. Oh, Walk straight into a plane. You silly man. I don't think we're gonna last 28 stages. But if you guys are wondering how I got this on the Xbox 360, well, it's backwards. It's been backwards compatible for a while, probably a couple of weeks. And if you, if you don't ever remember any of those games, um, buy it, man. It's on offer at the moment. Not that I'm being paid to do any of this, but. Um, Worthwhile, man. Flew him in. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna leave this where it is, man, and we're gonna have another go. Pause. Right, so I'm going to leave the video for there for today, otherwise I'm going to be here all day. And I'm sure you're going to watch me, three hours of me playing this one game, trying to get to the end. But uh, it's been enjoyable, man. I haven't played 1942 in years. And it, I still exactly the same as I remember it, because these sort of old arcade games don't age. as exactly as they were X amount of years ago. Um, because graphically there's no 3D rendering or anything like that you need to worry about, so they will always look the same, and the handling might be slightly off, you know, but exactly the same as I remember it, as hard and annoying as I remember it, so I just want to thank you guys for listening to me ramble on about this game, and thanks again for tuning into another video. My name's been Grimlock's Rage, aka Sean, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.